Hi. Hi. Hi, my name is Miranda. And this is me, Katja. And I'm 41. I'm going to be 42 at the end of April. And I don't know why I'm talking like this. Um, so what I'm going to do is make some fresh pasta and roll it out. Not by hand. And my husband got me. We have some uh, a can of really nice tomatoes. I'm going to make some nice meat sauce. Uh, it's going to be a nice meaty lasagna with mozzarella, ricotta. We got some nice. These are so tasty. Um, that's why I want to do this with some fresh pasta. I don't know what I'm doing a lot of the time. Sometimes I research a little bit online here and there. Uh, things differ so much online that you kind of have to sometimes make your own rule and I know it's because of egg size. If you're going to use an egg and you want to use pot and you want to use flour, they are like, oh, use this much flour to every egg. But so we're going to go by the wing it method. I'm just going to take you here for a little ride. Hi. Hey. Let's attempt to be professional. No. It's too much fun to be like this instead. These are large eggs, but they're not very big. We'll do one and a half. There we go. You should always crack your eggs separately because you never know if there's something wrong. You don't want to put that in your mixture and mess yourself up. Put our eggs in the very middle. I don't know if you want to see the action. It's probably not that exciting, but... Okay, what it took to get this angle. <laughs> and it's not even a great one, but it's better than the one I had. <sighs> Drama. Before I add any water, let's just see what this does. Shouldn't have added all that water. Let's try to fix. It's definitely better. Do you see that? Sorry, trying to turn the thing without touching it. This is gonna go in the fridge for, I'm gonna make this later today, so it might be a few hours and that's it. What we're gonna do, Dump it right in there. Ah. All clear. adjust the garlic. There's still some in there, look. Don't just crush one. Try to just reposition it and nice smells emanating. I'm making fresh lasagna. I'm not even gonna boil the lasagna. I'm just literally gonna make the lasagna. I'm not always good at planning stuff out that way. Sometimes I do it right. Sometimes I just completely forget. I think this will be a good consistency. I'm gonna do. Bear with me. I'm going to dump all this mozzarella in here. I don't know. Interesting. 
texture. Doesn't it look like Play-Doh? That kind of like, when you first get it, almost that, that, you know what I mean? Is this a bad idea? It might be. I mean, just do it. Just do it. All the Play-Doh. Try to make it a nice, fully mixed thing. I haven't, I haven't made lasagna in such a long time, and I've never made fresh pasta, and I've never done this to the cheese, so... Yeah. <laughs> Let me check on the sauce. I could pretend everything is going great. That this sauce isn't a little more tart than I, than I want it to be. And that this ricotta isn't a little sweeter than I want it to be. I, I, I guess it's the brand. Um, I'm hoping they balance each other out. I don't know. I'm, what I'm doing is I'm literally going to put the sheets of lasagna out as I'm doing this. Because why not? I want to make sure that pasta cooks in this sauce. Oh, by the way, I put oregano, a tiny little bit of thyme in there. I know someone went, thyme? I, I, I like a little bit of thyme, not too much, because thyme tends to overpower in my opinion. Just like allspice. You put a little too much allspice, that's all you taste. I'm going to take a chunk of this. Let's try. I hate it. It's ripping. It's not good. It's not good pasta. <laughs> oh God! No. Let's see. This is the most. Awful. I did so much better the other day. Where's my scissor? Really thick. I really thought I was gonna do okay. I don't even care about this bottom layer. <laughs> this is the saddest thing I have ever done. <laughs> wow. That was bad. Alright, you know what? Let's just let's just split this in half. Split this in half, okay? Try our best to just keep on going. Oh yes, yeah, oh good, pa pasta, just get, get holes right in the pasta. This is so sad. It's not like I'm gonna waste the food, we're gonna eat it, so. Oh, we are eating this. I hope it tastes good, I really, really do. Terrible, I am not happy with the performance of my dough. I should have known that it was too wet when I put it in. I said it was a little sticky, that's my fault. I also don't have Parmesan cheese. So that's another bone. Okay, hopefully this goes better. Okay. I think I'm only this at a three. Anyone have a problem with that? Here, I'm just gonna, just gonna do that. I think because I made such terrible pasta dough, I just should make smaller balls. It might work out better. Less sticking. It's got, it's got to be me because I see people do this all the time. There's something I'm missing. I'm sure someone out there is like, oh, it's just your blah, but I don't know what it is right now. So we're going to get better at this. for next time. That's the important thing, right? Mix 
and cheeses into sauces a lot lately. Like, turn our sauces into cheeses in this case. And since the oven is on and preheated, I'm just gonna put it right in there. Um, I guess I'll show you the end result because I'm gonna start at maybe 30 minutes, but I don't know if that's too much. I'm sure it'll be fine, 30 minutes. 350. Here's the conclusion of the lasagna. That's what it looks like. It was on 350, covered for 30 minutes, uncovered for 15. Um, I think we're okay. I wish there was Parmesan on top, but this might be alright. I'll let you know what the slice and the taste is like. Try it. Cuts nice. Ooh. Oh, it's good. Hello. This is the day after lasagna. Uh, we ended up cutting it in half and putting half of it in the freezer. So we have a nice lasagna for next time. It turned out really good, and it's even better the second day. Wanted to share that. Bye.